Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. Yes, it's true. We are back with some more video podcasts for your viewing pleasure. Hopefully, we can keep these going once again uh, after taking about uh, six months off from them. I'd like to crank some out uh, over the next coming months that hopefully can help you out learning Drupal. Uh, a couple of notes before we get started. One is I would love it if you followed us on Twitter and uh, jumped over to our Facebook page. So just go to mustardseedmedia.com and in the top right corner, you'll see links to both of those. Uh, there's also a chip in widget um, over on the mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast page. Uh, we're not going to do the the sort of the required chip-ins that we were doing a while back, but if you appreciate the podcast, uh, we would love it if you could throw a couple of dollars at it through PayPal uh, by using that button. That's it. Uh, so here's the deal for today. We're going to talk about node references. Uh, this is all kind of the future of Drupal, in my opinion. Drupal is getting very modular, which means that uh, now it takes five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten modules to create a functionality in Drupal, but that's a good thing. That's uh, better than installing a single module and it works in one particular way. By going more modular, we can uh, break out the functionality uh, using a bunch of different modules, and that gives us a lot of flexibility, uh, and it gives us the ability uh, to do things in a very custom way. Uh, different than maybe the module developer intended. So what I'm going to show you today is how to use node references uh, to build some functionality on your site. We do this a lot at Mustard Seed uh, to do things like attach audio to other content or attach video to other content uh, and uh, attach one type of node to another type of node, referencing those two together and making them play real nice together. You might use this, for example, uh, to reference a web form to maybe an event. Uh, so you want people to sign up uh, using a web form for an event uh, this would be a great way to do it. So I'm going to dive right in and show you how to do that today, and hopefully it is very useful. First thing I'm going to show you is what modules we're using to do this. Basically, this is a CCK and view setup. Um, so we're going to be using the CCK module uh, that is over at uh, drupal.org slash project slash CCK. Hopefully this and the views module are just givens. Oops, that's uh, not it. Uh, hopefully this and the views module are just givens for you. Uh, and um, and you should basically have these probably installed on every single site that you do. If you don't know about CCK and views, drop everything and go out and learn them. Uh, so we're going to be using CCK uh, and we're going to be using the node reference uh, field that comes with CCK. But then we're also installing a uh, another module called node reference URL, drupal.org slash project slash node reference underscore URL. This is going to give us some cool functionality with the node reference uh, CCK field that comes stock with CCK. And one of the things you're going to want to enable is this node reference URL widget. Uh, we're going to use this today. So enable that module. Uh, the other pieces we're going to uh, enable are view stuff. So obviously have views enabled. But then also we're going to download a module called views attach. Uh, and it is at drupal.org slash project slash views attach. So jump over there and grab those four modules, CCK, node reference URL, views, and views attached. And enable all of that stuff. And here's what we're going to do. Let's say on our site that we have uh, one type of content and we want to associate another type of content with it. The example that I'm going to use uh, here is, let's say we have a page about tigers. Let's think uh, maybe Wikipedia style or something like that. It's a bunch of information about a certain topic. And then on our site, we have people that are going to be writing stories about this topic. So, uh, you know, one more story might be about tigers in the winter or uh, tigers in Africa. I, I don't know, whatever. Uh, so you're going to have a bunch of stories related to this one page all about tigers. So when we look at our content types, what we've got is we've got just our two stock content types that we're dealing with, the page content type and the story content type. This main page uh, is the page content type. So uh, we're going to uh, use this and we're going to reference stories to this page. So to do that, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to modify our story by adding on a field. And we're going to add a node reference field. And I'm just going to call it page reference uh, because what this is is a reference to a page. So it's a story that's referencing a page content type. And so I'm going to choose node reference as my type. And now this, that node reference URL widget, remember we showed that in the modules? What this does that's really cool is it gives us this reference from URL 
uh, functionality that basically what it's doing is uh, it's allowing us to look at the URL that uh, is fed into the no reference and automatically fill that in uh, and you're gonna see how this works in just a minute so we're gonna choose reference from URL and we're gonna save it and here's some options uh, including options that the the no uh, reference URL module gives us so uh, if, if we go to this node and uh, we didn't come from a node reference link, uh, what do we do? Let's say we're just gonna use the select list widget. Uh, that'll let us manually choose a page to reference. Uh, so one of the really nice things that this does that it didn't do when the module first came out is it gives us a link in the links variable, in the link section of the page that we're referencing. So we're gonna say create a link on the full view of our page nodes and call it add a story and uh, just some little hover text there. Uh, the return path, once we've created uh, the new story node, where do we want it to go? Let's say we're gonna go back to uh, the reference node. We'll make a node reference required. Now, content types that can be referenced, this is important. Um, we're only allowing people to reference a page from a story. So when I create a story, I only want people to be able to reference page content types. So I'm gonna choose page and I'm gonna save it. So we now have a, a uh, node reference set up uh, for our stories. So if we created a story manually, uh, we're gonna go to create content story. What we would see is we have this page reference and I can choose the All About Tigers page that was already created. That's gonna associate it. But we're gonna do something a little bit cooler. So what we can see is if now if we go to the All About Tigers page, we have this add a story link right here. Uh, this was put in by node reference URL. So now if I click this from my page, this is automatically filled in. That is a beautiful thing, gives a really nice user experience. Um, so let me go ahead and create a story. Um, I'll use my dumb example of Tigers in the Winter. Let me fill in a little bit of text here. So there's some junk text and now I'm gonna save it. Now what this is gonna do, I told it to go back to the page that I referenced once I was done. So I referenced this and the story exists but we can't see it on this page. Ideally, what we want is we want all of our stories about tigers or about this tiger's page to show up on this page. That's where views is gonna come in handy. So I'm gonna build a new view, and this is gonna be the view that's gonna be my uh, page references. Um, so I'm gonna call it stories on page. So these are gonna list all my stories on a certain page. Um, so I'm gonna create this view, it's just a node view. And the first thing I'm gonna do is limit it, just show me stories in this view. I only wanna show stories. So I'm gonna say node type is uh, story. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'm gonna create something called node content. You'll notice this isn't a block, this isn't a page. This is something supplied by the views attach module. What this is gonna do is this is gonna create this view as a piece of content on the page node. So I'm going to choose node content and add that kind of display. Uh, just for uh, attractiveness, I'm going to put it in a table. And now I got to add a couple fields. I'll add a node title. Uh, title and a teaser. So there's my teaser. That's good. There's my title. I'm going to link it. I'm going to reorder these so they look nice. Now, here's the crucial part. Arguments. Uh, if you don't know what arguments are, they're extremely important. Try and go uh, find out a little bit about how they work. But the short answer uh, from a non-developer, I had a lot of developers trying to describe them to me and they uh, never got through to me. Uh, and uh, the, the short answer of what an argument is, is think of it like a dynamic filter. Uh, so you have your views filters. Think of it like we're passing in another filter that depends on the page that we're viewing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an argument that is that, um, that node reference field. So we're gonna say if this node reference field, um, I'm gonna hide the view if there is no node reference. Um, so what I'm saying is this node reference field, if we go down to our uh, node content settings, um, by the way, we're only going to embed this on pages. So this will say embed this view on a page um, and only do it in full nodes. But then you can see our arguments. It's gonna say, use the node ID, that's the page content type, the node ID of the page, and match it to this argument. So if the node ID of the page we're viewing uh, is the same as what is selected in a, in a stories um, content uh, a CCK reference field, then show it. Um, that's basically what it's doing. So I'm gonna hit save. 
if we go to oops if we go back to the Tigers page we now have the whole thing set up so now what we've got is we've got our page and then at the bottom as a piece of node content it's attaching this view that we created and it's only going to show stories in this view because of the argument uh, that are referenced to this node so if we keep clicking add a story and we add another one and it's already referenced you'll see to the Tigers page again and I click Save that is now going to show up in this view because it is referenced to this node hopefully that all makes sense really 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 powerful once you get the hang of it uh, if you have questions go ahead I'm going to turn comments on uh, on this episode over at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast slash episode 36 uh, also, jump over there. You can get our feed. Uh, if you're watching this on the website, uh, I suppose you need to grab that. Um, if you're on the feed, then hopefully uh, these are going to be start spitting out on the feed again. Uh, and don't forget that little chip-in link. And follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And ah, that's it. Enjoy Node Reference. Have a good week.